We are gathered here today to witness the marriage of Paige and Stephen. They have asked you to share in this joy as they pronounce their vows for a life together. Your presence and involvement on this most memorable and happy day means a great deal to them as it heightens the significance of the commitment they will be making. It is often said that it is love that makes the world go round. However, without a doubt, it is friendship that keeps our spinning existence on an even keel. True friendship provides so many of the essentials for a happy life. It is the mortar which bonds us together in harmony. These past few years leading up to our wedding have been the best time of my life. I love you so much and I love so much about you. I didn't believe that I could find a man who would remind me every single day to dream bigger, to work harder, to open my heart to all the possibilities of this beautiful life. I never realized that I could love anyone as much as I love you. Paige has a sweetness and an innocence to her that only a Disney princess does. Uh, and real people aren't like that. But Paige actually is. She really is. And anyone who knows Paige knows that to be very, very, very true. Also, anyone who knows Paige uh, for a long time knows that from the day she was born, she wanted one thing in life, and that was to find her Prince Charming. The quality I most admire in Paige is her innocence. In fact, she's so innocent that we made her cut down on Disney when she was in high school. <laughs> but by some twist of fate, she met Steve Dussel. Quite possibly the GOAD, G-O-A-D, the greatest of all Disney fans. <laughs> From the first time I met him, I realized that there was actually at least one true Prince Charming left in this world, and he, as any good fairy tale would have it, found his true love. So Steve, thank you for being the Eric to Paige's Ariel, the Beast to her Belle, and the Hans to her Anna, oops, I mean Kristoff. But seriously, Steve, you are a consummate gentleman, a person of a different time, and a man to be admired. You are perfect for my sister. You have allowed me to open my heart without fear, hurt, or anguish. You have allowed me to trust both in love and in life. You have allowed me to smile and be truly happy. You have allowed me to laugh and enjoy the simple moments in life. And for these reasons, I love you. I pledge to you my love, to always laugh with you during the good times and cry with you during the bad times, to always respect and cherish every precious moment with you and to love you now and forever. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it always protects always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Beyond Disney, Paige and Steve are perfect soulmates. They have the same sense of humor, the same goals in life, same values, and most of all, they are each other's best friends. True friendship nurtures our hopes, supports us in our disappointments, 
and encourages us to grow to our best potential. Today, Paige and Stephen pledge to each other not only their love, but also the strength, warmth, and the fun of true friendship. In marriage, we say not only, I love you today, but also, I promise to love you tomorrow, and the next day, and always. In promising always, we promise each other time. We promise to exercise our love, to stretch it large enough to embrace the unforeseen realities of the future. I promise to love you unconditionally, without any hesitation. I promise to stand by you, trust you, encourage you, and respect you. I accept you for who you are fully, and I give myself to you in return. I take you as you are, with all of your perfections and imperfections, and I promise to love and take care of you through all the triumphs and all the failures. I promise that we will support each other always. I love you not only for who you are, but who you inspire me to be. I love that over the past few years, I have never had to face life's challenges without your unconditional love. Even on the days when I have struggled, when the future seemed uncertain, not once did I have to walk alone. You are the reason that I fight so incredibly hard to be the best person that I can be. I promise to inspire you the way you have always inspired me, to lift you up when you falter, to bring you breakfast in bed, kiss you and tell you that I love you every day. I promise to be your best friend, your secret keeper, and your joy. You are my everything, and I can't wait to call you my husband. Age, in the name of God, do you take Stephen to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only unto him forevermore? Thank you. <laughs> in the name of God, do you, Stephen, take Paige to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others and holding only unto her forevermore? I do. Paige and Stephen, I ask that you always treat yourself and each other with respect. Romance is fun, but love is something far more. It's a desire to foster true friendship and love each other for life. That is the commitment which has brought all of us here today. Oh God, bless this marriage as Paige and Stephen begin their journey down the road of life together. In marriage, two people turn to each other in search of a greater fulfillment than either can achieve alone. Help them to keep lit this light of love that they now share so that by their loving example they may pass on the light of love to their future children and to their children's children forever. Paige is a wonderful daughter and is the perfect wife for Steve. She is a blend of her mother and me. Like Babette, Paige is sweet, nurturing, and considerate. All qualities that will make her a great mother someday. I couldn't have asked for a better brother, a better older brother. He's been my best friend forever. And you know, when he first called me and said, that he found someone that he really likes, you know, that was really special because, you know, we, me and my brother talk a lot, but to hear that, I knew that someone was in his life that meant a lot to him and meeting you and seeing you with our family and with Steven, you clearly are a special person.
I really look up to you as the woman that you become, the wife you are officially today, and the mother I know you are destined to be. So Paige and Steve, your fairy tale is just beginning, and we all can't wait to see what beautiful story your life will tell. Cheers. Paige and Stephen, it is clear that love and friendship is the true core of your marriage. In addition to this love and friendship, it will take trust to know that in your hearts, you will always want what is best for each other. By the power vested in me, I pronounce you to be husband and wife. Stephen, may I kiss your bride. Thank you.